I want to check in with Andrea Lucia. She's standing by for us now uh, in studio. Andrea, you have taken a very uh, interesting dive into some data uh, as a result to uh, the timeline of how all of this happened and what alerts were given out, if any, and how those were disseminated, because this is a point of contention for a lot of folks out here uh, who are, quite frankly, criticizing, uh, you know, whether these alerts went out and what was done with them. What have you found in, in, in your research? Yeah, well, Ken, the National Weather Service certainly knew and communicated that there was a possibility of flooding, but let's break down the timeline. For days before the catastrophic flood, the National Weather Service was tracking the chance of rain. At 3.30 a.m. on July 3rd, it warned of potential isolated flooding. And at 2.30 that afternoon, more than 12 hours before the floods, it issued an official flood watch for western portions of the hill country, including Kerr County. It forecast one to three inches of rain was possible, but also warned it couldn't rule out isolated areas seeing as much as five to seven inches. The first flash flood warning came at 11.42 p.m. for Medina, Texas, just south of Kirk County, urging people there to move immediately to higher ground. And by 1.14 a.m., flash flood warnings went out to Ingram and Hunt as well, where several summer camps, including Camp Mystic, are located. Again, urging people there to seek higher ground. The Guadalupe River, meanwhile, had started to rise, first slowly. By Hunt, where the water was normally seven feet deep, it topped 10 feet by 3 a.m. That's what NOAA has labeled the minor flooding and action level, which, when reached by a rising stream, necessitates, in its words, some type of mitigation to prepare for possibly significant activity. Then. Just look at this sudden spike. Within 10 minutes, the river went from minor flooding stage to moderate flooding stage, and less than an hour later to major flooding, where NOAA calls for significant evacuations of people to higher elevations. At 4.23 a.m., the National Weather Service warned of a flash flood emergency. At 5.10, it reported the river in Hunt had reached the second highest height on record and warned of a dangerous and life-threatening event. By the time the Kerr County Sheriff's Office and the Kerrville Police Department began posting alerts, the river in many places had already peaked. Yes, so to reiterate, the National Weather Service warned Early the day before about the potential for flooding, it warned more than an hour, almost two hours before, that people needed to seek higher ground. How those messages were reaching people, though, and even whether if they were reaching people, that is a whole other matter that we are looking into. And there's certainly evidence that communication was lacking. I'll give you one example. At 6.22 in the morning, with this life-threatening emergency underway, the city of Kerrville's official Facebook account posted about the, quote, much needed rain that had swept in overnight and reported its downside that the day's scheduled celebrations might be impacted.